Hey guys, thought I'd post a quick update of where I am with the magnetic U-joint um, effector for my CME CNC raw stock Delta 3D printer. So, it's it, actually the, um, the the JB weld of the balls on the cap head screws. Uh, it's working great. They, it holds really well. The key was you just kind of put it under uh, under a light to heat it up while it's curing and it helps it cure quicker and it also seems to cure uh, harder, especially in my basement which is a little cold right now. So um, you can see I've got two balls on the one side here and I've got um, these rods that I'm going to 3D print out um, and then there's a, a slip on end that you can glue onto either end. and. This is the top piece that goes onto the cheapskate. Um, you can see it'll mount onto the side like that, and then it'll take advantage of the existing holes in the cheapskate. Um, so it'll just bolt right into place. And I've got the, um, the screw there uh, for the long set screw for the end stops, and it'll just bolt right up, bolt right into place. So um, the spacing and everything is great. So you can see these. The joints just pop off and there's a magnet inside. I drilled a hole, or I didn't drill a hole, I, I, I created a hole in the center so it would print better because I found that if it tried to print the top part of the ball it would kind of just make a mess. So I thought I'd, um, I'd leave a hole. It won't actually, you can see the mag magnet there, it won't actually rest. On, it, the magnet won't touch, it just comes close. Um, but it actually it, it snaps in really well and holds really well. You can see these uh, on the raw, I, I want to make it uh, so it's basically a bolt-in-place um, mod to my raw stock Mac. So I kept the um, the delta arm lengths the same as what was specified in the firmware, which was 269 millimeters. So you can see here, it uh, it'll fit nicely, and actually, it's very close to the um, geometry of the of the CME CNC raw stock max so I think what I'll have to do is um, adjust things a little bit when I get it going but I'm really happy with this ball ball joint design there's no play and super smooth and it's with the six arms holding it in place it's going to be really snug so you can see I'm printing out um, a couple uh, two sets of arms right here I had a, you can see I had to add these um, ties in to support the arms because when I first tried to print one um, I found that it would wobble when I printed it by itself so what I did here was I put four of them together and I tied them in so they'll they'll be a lot uh, stronger as they make it all the way up to I think about 220 some millimeters high um, yeah anyhow stay tuned for more updates please like this video uh, and don't forget to subscribe to see this thing in action hopefully soon.